Hello mga kawamat! In this video lesson, we will discuss descriptive research design. Descriptive research design is to describe phenomena or relationship within a single group or sample. So, the main purpose of this research is to observe, describe, and document the aspect situation as it naturally occurs. So, it seeks to describe the current status of unidentified variables. Also, it provides systematic information about a phenomenon and observe the subject without intervention. So, this uh, research, this also, the researchers does not usually begin with the hypothesis after collecting data. So, unlike the other research design, kagaya ng experimental, so nag start sila sa hypothesis. And also, descriptive research design can only be used to determine who, what, and not why. Okay, so again, this design can only answer who, what questions, but not why. Okay, not why questions. So what are the examples of the descriptive research design? So, ito yung mga topics na pwedeng uh, pag-aralan sa descriptive research design. What are the most important factors that influence the career choice of senior high school students? What do high school students think of their research teachers? What do customers at a particular business think of customer service? And of course, descriptive research design meron ding advantages. What are the advantages of descriptive research design? Number one, in descriptive research, the subject is being observed in a completely natural and unchanged natural environment. It does not adversely influence the normal behavior of the subject. It is often used as a precursor to quantitative research design. The general overview giving some valuable pointers as to what variables are worth testing quantitatively. Quantitative research is often time-consuming and expensive. Descriptive research helps the researcher to get an idea of what hypothesis questions are worth testing. And what are the disadvantages of using descriptive research design? Number one. There are no variables manipulated. Number two, there is no way to statistically analyze the result. Number three, regarded as unreliable and unscientific. Number four, results of observational studies are not repeatable. And number five, there can be no replication or reviewing of results. So here are some sample research na gumamit ng Descriptive research design. So, a descriptive research on the factors that affects the price of the merchandise among public school canteens in the city of Manila. So, ito ay pwede nyo ilagay. No? So, sample uh, research, uh, descriptive research design. So, this research study is type of quantitative descriptive research design. It describes the current status of existing problem or condition of a specific identities variables. So this analyzes the possible factors that affect the price increase of the merchandise that are being sold in the school canteens of public school. So it must focus on the main variables that have the most impact on the price increase of the products. This applies in our choosing research topic in the way of having a rating scale Questions so that the canteen management have the point of view on them to be aware on what the students are being concerned on the price of product. So another sample research. Okay. So factors affecting the academic performance of the working student in school. This study will utilize the descriptive method as the research strategy which is intent to present facts opening of the nature and status of a situation as it exists at the time of the study and describe present conditions, events, or systems based on the impressions or reaction of the respondents of the research. So another sample research that uh, utilizes descriptive research design. 
analyzing the impact of the Pantawid Pamilyang Pilipino Program. Okay, so pwede nyo gawing guide, no? pwede nyo ito gawing guide sa paggawa nyo ng research design. So, ang research design ay matatagpuan nyo sa chapter 2 no? ng research. Uh, siya yung unang part ng methodology. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.